Hi there, welcome back to Let's Cook with Michelle. You can tell I've got a Christmas skirt on. See it? But anyway, I'm doing an easy nacho recipe. It's something easy to feed a crowd, easy to feed a family. Um, and so I'm gonna make some nachos. So what I'm using is I have a pork butt that I cooked. I cooked this pork butt in my pressure cooker, got it really nice and tender. And then I added in some carnitas seasoning to it. So it's got a lot of good flavor. You can use whatever meat you'd like. This is just what I happen to have on hand that I plan to cook. So pork carnitas nachos is what we're doing today. So I have my oven preheated to 375. I've got tortilla chips. Use your chips of choice. I sprayed my pan. Okay. I'm not gonna use the whole bag because I know once I get all these ingredients on here, it's going to go a long way. So what I plan to do is I'm going to do some of my pork carnita meat. Do a little bit of the meat, just kind of spread it out. I made this uh, pork butt yesterday and then I heated up just the portion that I wanted so that it's warm because you don't need to bake these nachos for very long. So I just wanted them to be warmed up so that it doesn't take a long time to heat this meat back up. Easy way to use whatever meat you happen to have on hand. And if you don't like meat, you can just do some cheese and cheese sauce on this and then put your toppings on it when it comes out of the oven. So that's the fun thing about cooking is you customize it to your taste, what you have on hand and what you like. So, all right, so I've got pork loaded on these. Now I was going to buy some refried beans and I was going to buy some can queso and I found this, which is basically a, combine, a combination of both. It's the cheesy enchilada dip. So it's cheesy and it's got some beans all at once. So I will do just both at the same time. I wanna do a little bit of this and then I'm gonna do a bunch of shredded cheese and just bake it. And then when it comes out of the oven, everyone can put the toppings on it that they like. So you just have a big nacho bar with all the toppings on the side and everyone can put on it what they would like. So you can see I have the chips coated up pretty well with the meat and the can queso dip that I chose. Now I have a big bag of shredded Fiesta Mexican cheese. I'm gonna put a bunch of this on. We want these to be nice and cheesy. And then I'm just gonna pop this in the oven and it's a meal in itself. Everyone tops their plate with what they want. All right, now I'm just gonna pop this in the oven, 375 for about 15 minutes, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, I pulled the nachos out of the oven, and so now I'm going to take a little portion for myself and put them on a plate so that I can pop them the way that I want. That's the nice thing about the nachos, is you have a little nacho bar. You just do the meat and cheese, and you put on top of your nachos what you want. I like lettuce. I like the fresh ingredients on mine. Lettuce, pico, absolutely crucial. I love pico. On anything I do that's kind of taco Mexican food, I love pico. So pico, salsa. You could put hot sauce, more con queso, whatever you like. But some salsa, you could do guacamole. I'm not a big guacamole person. Just do a little sour cream in the middle. A couple jalapenos on here, and obviously cilantro. I love lots of cilantro. So there is mine with the toppings that I like. Don't come for me if you don't like my toppings. Do yours the way you want. Okay, let's taste it. It's got all the good toppings on here. I can see the cilantro, pico, all of it. Mmm. Thank God for cilantro. I just need a huge crop of it every year. I love it. Which is really good. Super, super easy meal. Use your leftovers. Create nachos. 
everybody will go crazy on it. Super easy. Highly recommend this one. Thank you for checking me out on my channel. I appreciate it. Let's cook with Michelle. I'm on Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. All of my full videos are on YouTube. Thank you. Mmm.